Hello and welcome to my channel. I'd like to say thanks to all my viewers. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give it a like and a comment. That really helped my channel to grow. Today's tuning is an s -ball I roughed out around four weeks ago. And I will try my first attempt to use allo tape and transform it to an antique silver lookalike inlay. I hope you will enjoy the video. I just bought this new sander. Why I haven't bought one before, I don't know, because it cuts down the signing time by a lot. Yeah, I'm just taking down the thickness of the ball. I will go for around 6-7 millimeters maximum. And still using one of my primary tools, the half inch pull guard. Just rounding off the edge with an inward curve to give the appearance of a thinner ball. And removing the last two marks with my round nose negative brake screw. I borrowed some texturing tool from a good friend, but apparently I can't use them correctly, so I couldn't really get anything nice from them. So at the end I just gave up and used some other tools to get the ripple effect I needed for the allotape, as you can see here in a second. I decided to take out my Dremel revolve and doing some texturing. I was going after some random texturing around 2-3 to three millimeters uh, deep. And just moving the cutter head up and down and side to side and back and forth. It doesn't really matter as long as I stay within the boundary of the marks I use for the texturing too. Just doing the final texturing here, I tried to get all areas hit by the Dremel tool so I don't have any clean surface that is sanded. And I need rough surface all over. Just doing some light sanding to take off the sharp edges left by the Dremel tool. We are making two grooves with a point tool to bolder in the calf belt on the bow. I'm cleaning the outside of the bowl with denatured alcohol to get all the dust away so the tape can stick on the bowl.
I cut the tape in like 5 cm pieces that is around 2 inch and put them on the bowl as you will see here in a second. The trick now is to massage or press in the alo tape down to all the grooves and places you have made with the Dremel tool so you get a rough uneven surface on the alo tape. The side of the tape I just cut in the deep part of the grooves to have the tape go into the grooves and have something to hold on to so it doesn't come off. After the first two pieces here I found it a little hard to get the tape down in all the grooves just using my fingers. I found a piece of wood that was pointy but not sharp and that worked very well to get the tape down in all the grooves and all the places it needed to go and press it so it would stick to the wood. After doing a couple of pieces I found that it was the best result if I started from the middle and worked my way out instead of uh, just pressing down uh, all places so I rub it, it on in the middle and work to the one side and then to the other side. That got the tape to stick the best. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, that way you won't miss my videos. And please write a comment below and tell me what you think of the video.
Here's a close up of the end result of the alloy tape pressed down in all the grooves. I tried to use water-based color to stain the aloe tape black in the valleys of the tape to give the appearance of dirty silver. But of course, water-based color won't stick, so I went for a spray can with black color. After spraying the aloe tape, I used a paper towel to take off all the black on the top of the aloe tape. So I only left the black color in the valleys of the grooves. I sprayed the aloe tape two times with the black and then I used a paper towel to put in some gold color too and again on top of the gold I sprayed black again and each time I used the paper towel to take off all the paints from the top of the grooves After the paint has dried up, I started to sand with grit 600 to get a shine on all the tops of the grooves. Some of the grooves had too much color in them, so I used the sandpaper to take it out, to give the appearance of dirt and not color. I sanded the bowl outside one more time with grid 600 and redid the color on the wood. To be sure that the color on the aloe tape didn't rub off, 
I gave it two coats of clear lacquer. Unfortunately, the paper towel did rub off in the lacquer, so I need to sand it a little again and give it one more coat or two. And that's why the chuck is still on here at the end photos. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate the support. I wish you and your family a great day and stay safe out there.